What is up guys, JB here bringing you a review for Oval, which is uh, created by indie developer Reactor Heart. Um, Oval is a competitive arena shooter, very much like Tribes on the PC. Um, its focus is on fast paced movement, fast paced gameplay. Um, it's an incredible game, I I'm very impressed. Uh, what I'm impressed the most about with this game is the skill gap. It takes time and patience to master the movement um, and the movement on each map. It reminds me of tribes as far as what it does and as far as like mastering the movement it reminds me a lot of quake because of the fact that you have to master uh, where to jump um you know each map you have like your routes and you can master that which is really cool so yeah um so the game has one game mode right now it has three maps and it's essentially like a i think it's like a 4v4 type thing uh 3v3 4v4 um I turned it on expecting to play for a few minutes today. I picked it up on Steam. It was only like 20 bucks. So, and it ended up playing for about 45 minutes straight. Had a blast. Um, I had one of the developers come in and kick my butt at the game. Um, one thing I liked though is the developers, just speaking to one of them today, they, they really want to focus on making a really good competitive shooter uh, that, that has a skill gap. So, you know, it's not like a game like, for instance, I make videos for Destiny where uh, there is no skill gap. Anybody can go and play Destiny and, you, you know, use a cheesy weapon and get kills. But this game is a little more unforgiving in that nature. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, if you're new to VR, you'll still have fun with it. You can skate around the map, um, you know, have get kills, things like that. But um, if you take the time and the patience and have the patience to master the movement in this game, you'll find it extremely rewarding. I was having a blast just learning how to move around the map. Uh, you know, and one of the cool things too is like if, if you go online and you look for a game and you know, you get in there with maybe a couple people, uh, the rest of the slots get filled up by bots, which is really nice. You know, so you always have a, a way to play. Um, and, it, and like I said, as far as the gameplay goes, it is really, really good. They, um, they really, they did a good job with uh, thinking things through. Like the, um, I was a little apprehensive about the crosshairs on the guns, the sights, but they work incredibly well for the pace of the game. So I really enjoyed that, and um, like I said, the movement is crisp. It feels really good. It's a little awkward at first until you understand it. Um, so it's good. They actually they have a movement tutorial uh, that you can do before you play the actual game. Um, so yeah, um, speaking to the developers, they plan on implementing CTF soon, which is really cool. Uh, this this game screams to have a CTF mode. I can't wait. Um, so yeah, when you start out, you basically start out with the handgun, which is a really good gun actually, pretty versatile. And then you can get upgraded weapons on the map. There is an assault rifle, a marksman's rifle, another handgun that fires burst fire, which is my favorite. Um, you know, a couple other things. Um, and they plan on having other upgrades and things in the future. One of the cool things too I like is you earn money when you uh, win or lose or whatever and you can use that money to upgrade your character. So like you saw in here I have like a lightsaber plasma sword thingy um, that I was using up close. Uh, there's also like remote explosives, things like that. So there's a lot of cool stuff and they have a lot of cool stuff in the pipeline that they plan on releasing with this game. And one of the cool things about indie developed VR games is that they're constantly updating the game with more stuff. and. Um, they really have their ear to the ground and they listen to the community and I'm just very excited about it and I can't wait to see this game progress. Um, I've been looking for an actual esports game for some time on the VR and I feel like this is going to fill that need. Um, so like I said, if, if you have an Oculus or an HTC Vive or whatever, just 
pick it up. It's worth it. If anything, to support the developers because what they're going for is pretty incredible. So I can't wait to see how this goes. Um, and I plan on releasing more content for this in the future. Uh, all right, guys. Take care. And I look forward to making more videos. Peace.